calculating the value of the total resistance for three or more resistors in parallel. In order to calculate the value of three or more resistors in parallel, we have to use the following formula. R total is equals to one over one on R one plus one on R two plus one on R three plus dot dot one on R n. So this is a general formula for more than two resistors in parallel. Remember when we had two resistors in parallel, it was simply R1 by R2 over R1 plus R2. But we cannot use that formula for more than two resistors in parallel. We have to use this. An alternative way of stating the formula is this. We can write also one on R total is equals to one on R1 plus one on R2 plus one on R3 dot 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 one on Rn. Okay. All right. So um, let's do an example. Okay. I have to make some space on the board now. <laughs> I've used quite a bit of space trying to write the formula. So I'm going to make some space on the board. And we're going to create a circuit. Let's say we have a supply. Let's say we have 24 volts. We have R1 A ohms. R2 4 ohms. And let's say we have R3 12 ohms. Okay. Right. So we need, and let's say we wanted to calculate the current, the total current. So we want to get the supply current. Before we do the calculation, let's do a little bit of, let's observe what would happen in this circuit. Whenever you have resistors in parallel, the total resistance will always be smaller than the smallest resistor. So you would expect that when we do our calculation, we should get a resistance value of less than 4 ohms. So you can always use that to check your calculations. You must always get a value that is smaller than the smallest. Another property is that the larger current will always flow through a smaller resistor. So when we do our calculations, we should see that the larger current will flow through the four ohm resistor. Okay? So let's apply this formula here to this circuit. So we can write that 
our total will be equals to 1 divided by 1 over 8 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 12. That's equal to, go to the slowly, 1, 1 over 8. So 1 divided by 8 is point zero one two five. Zero point one two five plus a quarter one zero point two five plus one over twelve. Yeah. One divided by twelve is point zero eight three. Zero point zero eight. Three. Sorry about that. Okay. And so, so that's RT. So RT will be equals to one over, add all those together, point one two five plus point two five plus point zero eight three and that equals zero point point four five eight and if we take one and divide it by that or take the reciprocal of that so take the, the reciprocal of that and you're going to get two so you get rt rt equals to 2.18 ohms so what we did you can either say one put one in the calculator and divide by that or if you have that number 0 0.485 and hit the reciprocal button, you should get 2.18 ohms. So that's a total resistance. We cannot proceed to calculate the, the, the total current. So we go over here now, we can write that I supply is equal to V supply divided by RT is equals 24 volts divided by 2.18 ohms equals, so I'm going to do that in the calculator, 24, you can do that also, divided by 2.18 and I get 11 Point zero eleven point zero amps. Okay, eleven point zero amps. No. So here is eleven amps. So here we have eleven amps. No. Remember. In a parallel circuit, the current will divide into, according to the value of the resistors, as I said before, there's a larger current flowing through the smaller resistor. Now, in a parallel circuit, the voltage across each branch, each resistor is the same. So this is 24 volts, we have 24 volts um, across this 8 ohm resistor, 24 volts across the 4 ohm resistor, 24 volts across the 12 ohm resistor. And from Ohm's law, if you have 24 volts across 8 ohms, we will get 24 divided by 8, you will get 3 amps. So 
So you get three amps in R1. No, 24 volts across four ohms. 24 divided by four, you get six. Six amps flowing through R2. And 24 volts divided by 12 ohms is two amps. Two amps. Right? So let's check. We have three amps flowing through R1, six amps to R2, and two amps to R3. So we have three plus six, nine plus two, 11. So you see it adds back up to the supply. And again, this obeys what we call, uh, this obeys Kirchhoff law, which states that the current entering a node must equal to the current leaving the sum of the current leaving node. So you have 11 amps flowing in here, 3 here, 2 R1, 6 to R2, and 2 to R3. And note that the larger current is flowing through the 4 ohm resistor, 6 amps flowing through the 4 ohm resistor, 3 amps flowing through the 8 ohm resistor, and two amps, the smallest value, flowing through the 12 volt resistor. So, to recap, to work out the resistance of more than two resistors in parallel, we use either the formula R total is equal to one over one over R1 plus one over R2 plus one over R3 plus one over Rn, all the resistors in between the up to Rn, or we can use the formula 1 on Rt is equal to 1 on R1 plus 1 on R2 plus 1 on R3 all the way up to 1 on Rn. Okay? All right, so you need to practice this. Um, a bit of practice, you will become quite good at it.